Will this song make you angry? This theory says yes. Welcome back to another brand new episode of Song Theory. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And we post three days a week on this channel, so enjoy. Anyway, today we're talking about Rick Isley and his song, Never Wanna Give You Up. Why do people hate this song so much? What's the history behind it? What's going on? We're gonna talk about it today. And we're gonna talk about why you hate it so much. So back in the early 2000s when YouTube was still developing, there was these uh, people uh, who decided to create videos in which there was a, an opportunity for them to misdirect and misguide people uh, for any particular reason. So there are some videos that'll say, hey, how to cook a turkey or how to, you know, I don't know, tie a tie. Or for example, it'll be like a drama video. You know, a video where everybody wants to see what's going on. You know, like, uh, uh, what did Shane Dawson do, for an example. And then when you click on these videos, you're not getting what you thought you were gonna get. Instead, you get. Can't show too much of it because I'll get copyright uh, rights struck. Copyright struck. Copyright struck. I'll get. YouTube doesn't like that. Anyway, that's the song that you would get. So let's talk a little bit about what, 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 what's going on here. So Rick Isley, first of all, that song is fantastic. Never Gonna Give You Up. I love that song, I, unironically. And I think it's funny because a lot of people, after you know the early 2000s, when they began to listen to the song, it actually is a really good song. And like, you can dance to it. It's just a lot going on. And it's, it's a feel-good song. Unironically, it's a feel-good song. The, the, the trend be darned. I love the song. Back on the topic. So the song, this all started happening in the early 2000s. I'll put up on screen exactly when uh, it kind of started. But people began to become very mad, very angry about this trend because they were going to these videos to get information and they couldn't get the information. And, and it was just, people started to share these videos, right? So when you're interested in a, a particular topic, like, you know, like I said, drama topics and stuff, and you get Rick Rolled. That's right, Rick Rolled, that's what it's called. And for you to click on the video, you trusted the person who made the video, you trusted the person who sent it or shared it to you, and for you to click on the video and you get a dancing white man, by the way, very well dressed, singing a song called Never Wanna Give You Up. Now, these misdirects have happened before. I mean, this is not the first or maybe the last time, of course, there will be a massive viral misdirect uh, because there's also one recently that people have been doing called Pumpkin. Uh, uh, there, it's so many. There's another misdirect that people have done. It's like this, uh, basically when you click on the video and the person's like, oh wow, you gotta turn your volume up. You have to hear this. You, you gotta hear this, listen to this. And then when you turn your volume up, it's like a woman moaning very loudly. Uh, in a sexual manner, so that's kind of, the misdirect is, is nothing new. But the reason why this song gets people so angry, I think, is because, once again, the, the nature of a misdirect, okay, it's heartbreaking because you sit and you believe that you can trust the video that you're about to watch, and yet, it's not what you came for. And, and then you're sitting there mad, and somehow at the same time tapping your foot and nodding your head to this infectious song. And you become a fan of Rick Isley, to be honest with you. Now, yes, Rick Isley is still alive. Um, I think, yes, he's still alive. So, you know, I always wondered if there was a video out there, I'm sure I can find it with him kind of reacting to that, him reacting to the the trend of him, you know, of, you know being a, a, the Rick role or being the misdirect. I wonder, you know, kind of how he reacted to that. Because to me, I would think it's a little sad because your whole life you worked uh, or, or you worked at the time on this music video on this song that you cared a lot about and then later on years decades later kids who don't even know your name started to put your music video on other videos to misdirect and now people hate you unjustly once again you worked for years on this song you went through the, the struggle of creating a, a music video and all that stuff and then for people to come right back around, not appreciate the song itself, but the opposite, they hate it because it was used for nefarious means. I do wonder where Rick Isley is now and I wonder what he's thinking to himself. Does he appreciate the misdirect? Does he feel as though it was offensive? 
I, I personally wouldn't imagine that. I think that if someone were to use my music or anything I've created as a misdirect, I would be flattered because first of all, that is just, I mean, the amount of exposure you would get. I mean, just imagine how many people have heard Rick Isley's song, Never Want to Give You Up. Just imagine how many people in the history of YouTube, right? And YouTube's been around since 2006, right? So in the history of YouTube, imagine how many people have heard that song and how many people became a fan of Rick Isley. Now, yes, this video is about whether or not the song will make you angry. And for a lot of people, yes, it still does. I did the experiment on my TikTok channel. Go check it out. Uh, TikTok.com slash song theory. And that link is in the description below. But I did it. And I saw that some people were indeed still angry that this even is still a thing. And it, it is because it's so good. It's so good. It feels so good to misdirect people. It's true. Uh, but there's you know, one more part of this video that I, I found really important because at the end of the day, I found some, you know, I found some extra information on Rick Isley that a lot of people don't know. And it's actually pretty sensitive information because, you know, the article that I found it on, it was, uh, it was actually an article from a few years ago. But you know how there's an article from a few years ago and you think no one saw it? Well, I did. And guys, I'm gonna tell you something about Rick Isley that a lot of people don't know. Uh, Rick Isley is... You like that? <laughs> you didn't, you hated it, you hate me now. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, I, I love that song once again. If you haven't heard it, go listen to it. It's on Spotify, I think. I think it's everywhere. But anyway, thank you for watching this. Uh, we post here three days a week, and I love you guys. Thank you for helping me come back to this platform because I was not going to come back because uh, this platform be jerking my chains sometimes. But that's okay. I'm here for the creative process. I'm trying to just, you know, the whatever, man. I'm here to create. So thank you all so much. I hope you have a great day and a better tomorrow. God bless. I'll see you all later.